models uh, have, have been wrong for the past 30, 35 years, and we simply don't understand why. So is a recession likely? Sure. Two recent reports are painting an increasingly glum picture of the Canadian economy. One from real estate company Remax, showing sales numbers and prices almost across the country dropped in the first half of 2023, compared to the same period last year. Even in the GTA, the average sale price dropping by about $100,000. Meanwhile, this report from Desjardins warning of a spreading economic slowdown, predicting recession later this year. While at the same time, the central bank walks a tightrope of raising interest rates with hopes of tamping down persisting inflation. The problem was uh, because of historically low rates for so many years, that had encouraged high levels of indebtedness. So the fear was if you raise rates too quickly, you may precipitate an extremely serious recession. We often talk a lot about GDP. That kind of gets all the attention. Uh, but in terms of the, you know, today's GDP is kind of a reflection of yesterday's business investment. Uh, do you get a, any sort of sense from the business community, the private sector, about how healthy that is right now? Are they pulling back? Are they parking? Are they growing? You know, uh, one of the, the major problems we've had in Canada for quite a while is that our corporate leaders, by and large, are not really innovative. They're risk averse. Uh, I would say most of them should consider this as lucky that they got into those positions because I would say they're not really that talented and most of them not even that competent. You know, the talent is out there. Unfortunately, our financial system has never been structured to go out and find them and to support them and to help them. There's something interesting in the Remax report that stood out in a very unfortunate way. 55% of Gen Zs and 49% of millennials are changing their housing plans due to what it describes as a lack of affordable housing inventory. Is that, uh, is that an unfortunately nice way of saying the younger generation is giving up living the way their parents did? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no other way of translating that. I guess in terms of measuring how healthy the economy is, and I don't just mean GDP, I mean actually healthy. People can afford their lifestyle to maintain and save for retirement. Uh, did you have a sense on how Canada's doing? Yeah, I, I think the, the best measurement of that is you, you really look at uh, sort of our, our, our GDP per capita and has it been growing in real terms. And again, if you look over the past 30 years, we've been falling behind the U.S. and we've been falling behind a number of other countries. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, most of the countries in the European Union have been doing much worse. For City News, I'm David Zura.